All right, hello everyone, Shrog here, and welcome to Let's Build a 3D Printer, episode 3. I'm sorry about not having this out earlier. I've been having issues, and I decided that I hate busing because it, it's tedious and you gotta do timing and stuff. And I did actually record myself making this, but it just it ended up being like a 25 minute video, and I just couldn't upload it because I made quite a few mistakes with timing and stuff. And getting it to tile like this was a bit of a mission. So I'll just right now I'll explain to you what I did. So first off, I'll come down to the main output. So since we're going to be streaming the output, we don't need to actually um, allow each output logically out through. An, oh wait, no. Um, so what I've got here is I've got an AND gate going out into these torches here. So, this is always going to be outputting, but this piston here is not going to allow the power through unless it's pulsed. So then that will allow power through. Then the signal will come down to this one here. And then this one will allow power through. Then we'll go down to the next one, allow power through. And then whilst this ha is happening, it's going to be locking up the previous one. So it's basically just gonna output A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, O, etc., etc. Because every eight, there's gonna be a new layer, and I think I'm explaining this terribly. Anyway, so that's just a quick, real, in-depth examination. Repeater coming up, a staggering wire, piston blocking wire, wire torch torch outputting onto this torch here which is then going to power this bus if it needed to go on and we've basically got the same for the top except it's inverted in the way that it's going downwards so repeater coming powering the slot line here uh, piston blocking wire leading down to this torch etc etc so that's the output, and basically here off this line, we're going to have the 3D, the, the actual print head, um, which I think I'll build next video. So now coming over to this here, this is a little bit more complicated as it involves a bit of logic, but okay, so this is slightly more advanced than uh, the output. We, what we've got here is we've got the input. This will be coming from the decoder there, so. When this bit is selected, it, this will be powered. That means this here will be outputting into the um, right or read line. So this here will be allowing the torches to power the read line. Um, actually, so then over here, it's powering this torch here, which powers this torch here. Now this is an AND gate right here. This is the write and erase line. So when we write to the cells, it will erase first. So I'll just show you this here now. So when we power this, this here will turn off, allowing this torch to turn on if this torch is off. So there, that's an AND gate. So this here will be outputting into this line over here, which Oops, that's a bit of a mess. Um, into this line here, which I, th which this torch will be powering. So this is the arrays line, and we'll come back over to our unit here. Actually, I'll turn my sensitivity up again. It's a little bit too slow. Anyway, it's so now coming up here. We've got this line here. This comes up, 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 and is delayed. So this line here, this is the right line. This here will be leading into this wire. So since it's delayed, um, the arrays line will have the time to erase what data is in the memory and then write what needs to be inputted. And that's all AND gated by this. Now basically we've got the same system up top. Uh, with this wire here will need to be connected to this one here, which I have got right here. So this, yeah, it's exactly what you see as it is as. Well. Um, then 
yeah, uh, in all, it's actually uh, quite simple. Um, I mean, you probably actually won't need half of this AND gate right here because this here's already ANDed. Uh, I could probably actually fix that up. Oh no, no, don't worry. Um, I just <laughs> it's been, since it's been a, around a week since I made this, I just realized this torch here is powering this line. So as you can see here, um, this here is getting direct input from the air, uh, the decoder. Powering this line spirals up, 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 and then has the same system as we've got down there. So there we go. That is the read and writing of it. Now I'm not going to actually build anything this episode. I, I want to get onto more interesting things as this here is just tedious and boring and I hate bussing. So actually, no, this episode, let's throw the decoder on. So this here is going to be pretty freaking simple. So position A, select position B. Everything's off because we're going to copy it. Now, And actually, let's just break this here. Place something. And there we go. So we've now got the decoder attached. So this is going to line zero. We can go to uh, line one. Yeah, or we could go to line three. Yeah, now there we go. The whole thing's decoded. So that's that was actually a simple addition. Um, now you can erase this if you want to. I, I honestly don't care. But now this gives us time for a binary. No, I'll do binary counter later. So anyway, <laughs> sorry for this kind of mixed up, bad, terrible, terrible bad episode. But anyway. Thanks for watching. Um, honestly, sorry about how rushed this one was and how short it probably is. But yeah. Oh well. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.